Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to spell modes and what that all means, all right? Without further ado, let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I know this video is going to be a lot of fun because I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me saying, hey, let's get some more music theory content out there. Let's uh, let's learn some stuff, you know what I mean? And today is that uh, type of content we're going to be doing. We're going to be learning about how to spell a mode and what it all means, all right? So before we get into the lesson, I just have to say, if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post content almost every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. And if you're a returning viewer, please do me a favor and like this video, okay? You know, you guys have been asking for this type of content. All I ask in return is just a little bit of engagement, you know what I mean? So just like this video and uh, leave a comment down below if you, would, if you in fact want more content like this, okay? That all being said, thank you in advance. Now let's get on to the lesson. So now when I say, what is the spelling of a mode? What does that mean? Well, whenever you hear somebody say like, oh, like a Dorian mode has a flat third and a flat seventh. That's a spelling right there. You're, you're, you have a flat third and you have a flat seventh. That's not all you have in that mode scale, but it's a part of it. And it's kind of like the bulk of what makes up that mode scale, okay? So right off the bat, all of these spellings, there's seven different modes and six of them are all spelled off of the first mode, the Ionian mode. Now, for those of you who know what the Ionian mode is, yes, it's the major scale. So this guitar is tuned to standard tuning and everything I'm gonna be doing to teach you guys is going to be in standard tuning and I'm gonna be using the C major scale as my basis for all these different spellings, okay? So first mode, Ionian, AKA major, looks like this. That is a C major scale in one octave. And for those of you who know what the whole step and half step formula of a major scale is, this is review. But for those of you who do not know what it is, it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right. So now let's get into the rest of the modes. We already just covered Ionian. It's just the plain old major scale. But what about if we want to play a C Dorian scale? We can't just play a C major scale, a C Ionian scale and say, oh, now we're in Dorian. We have to alter the C Ionian C major scale, and we have to change it to fit the, the formula, the spelling of what a Dorian mode is. And so a Dorian mode has a flat third and a flat seventh. So what third and what seventh are we flattening? We're flattening the third and the seventh of the major scale, okay? So we take C major, Right, we just went over that. Now we flatten the third note and we flatten the seventh note and now we have a C Dorian scale. Now we're playing C Dorian. So does that make sense? We took our major scale, we flattened the third, we flattened the seventh, now we have a C Dorian scale. Let's continue. The next mode is Phrygian. Now Phrygian has several flats in it. It goes as follows. Root, flat second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat sixth, flat seventh. And then the final note is the octave, which is in fact the root. All right, so again, take our major scale, flatten the second, flatten the third, flatten the sixth, flatten the seventh. Now we have a C Phrygian scale. Let's pick up speed. I think this is starting to, to make sense, or at least I hope it is, okay? Next is Lydian. Lydian is one of the most easy ones to remember, just a raised fourth. So here's major. Here's Lydian. So there's just one note you gotta alter between major and Lydian. Pretty cool, right? Same thing with Mixolydian, the next mode. It's the same thing as a major scale as the Ionian mode, you just flatten the seventh. Now this mode and this scale in particular is fun to play because you can do some cool legato stuff with just one octave. Get a 
little carried away. But that is just basically the major scale, just a flat seventh. Now it's mixolydian. Now we're playing C mixolydian. Next one, Aeolian. Aeolian is just a plain old natural minor, natural minor scale. All right, natural minor scale. C minor is this. So just like how Ionian is major, Aeolian is minor. The spelling of an Aeolian mode, Aeolian scale, is root, second, minor, third, fourth, fifth, minor, sixth, and minor, seventh. Now, I've been going back and forth in this video saying minor, six, or flat, six, they're interchangeable, just like sharp and raised are interchangeable, okay? So if you hear me say flat third, it's the same thing as saying a, uh, a minor third, okay? And that has to deal with kind of like intervals and a little bit more music theory, but just for this 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 lesson right here, they're, they're interchangeable and they mean the same thing, okay? And the last mode has a whole bunch of flats. It's just the root and the fourth that are un, unchanged or unaltered, okay? And they are as follows. This is called Locrian. So the spelling of Locrian is as follows. Root, minor second, minor third, fourth, tritone. We're going to come back to that. Minor sixth minor seventh, and the octave. Now tritone. Hear that interval right there? Pretty gross sounding, right? And that's the nature of a tritone. So a tritone has three different names, that interval. It has tritone, it also has raised fourth, and it also has flat fifth, okay? Because if we're playing a, a regular major scale, The fourth note, one, two, three, four, if you go up, it's now it's a raised fourth, but if you play the fifth note and you lower it, that's also a flat fifth, and you land at the same spot. And then lastly, the last name that I said, tritone. So think of Black Sabbath, that's the, that's the Black Sabbath sound, the tritone. But all in all, everybody, I hope this makes sense, and I'm hoping this resonates with some of you. Well, I hope it resonates with all of you, and I hope you're getting it as soon as possible. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down below in the comments, but basically, you just take your regular Ionian slash major scale, major mode, you alter it depending on what the formula is, the spelling, and then you put it on the fretboard and now you're playing that mode, all right? And now this stuff isn't easy. It comes with practice and you just have to just kind of just hammer it, in, it up up top, up here, uh, you know, in your brain. I, I f took so long just studying flashcards and doing this for years and years and years, and I still incorporate these spellings and these shapes in my everyday practice. So it doesn't go away once you learn it. It's like, oh, I learned it, you know, that now onto something else. It's just, in my opinion, you always have to be keeping up with this stuff, all right? So anyway, I hope this uh, helped and I hope you learned something, all right? So that's how you spell modes, that's what they mean. And uh, I just hope you learned something, okay? So everybody, I'm gonna get out of here. A huge shout out to all my patrons. If you're brand new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want some more music theory content. I'll do my best to knock it out, okay? So I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.